Hey guys, Philip Homiser here, and I just want to do a quick demonstration of my leaf overlays. Uh, I'm going to jump over here into the bridge. When you uh, download the leaf overlays, um, it's going to come in a zip file, and when you unzip that, or download it and unzip it, it'll have seven files in it, and each file is going to have a different type of leaf in it. So I'm going to go through here real quick and show you the uh, different type of leaves, and I don't know what the name of each, each leaf was, and I was too lazy to look it up, so it's just named leaf one, two, three, and whatnot. So uh, I'll go ahead and open up the first one. I believe these are oak leaves of some kind. Um, I, know I didn't pay much attention to where I picked them up at. <laughs> I would probably be able to tell if I saw the tree. Um, but I just don't know my leaves very well. <clears throat> so uh, I, I took um, a random number of different leaves and I just took different, uh, each one of these is a different leaf. I, I want to get different angles and whatnot, different ones, different character. And these are pretty high quality. Um, if you zoom up on these, uh, these are pretty high quality and they're all cut out already. These are um, PNGs, so you can just drop these right into Photoshop and it will um, already be cut out. Um, I mean, these even spots in here, if there's little holes in them, that little hole that's going to be um, actually cut out. Just like in this one here, I wanted to get one that's kind of uh, got some holes ripped in it. Uh, these will all be cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next folder. Uh, these are some pretty uh, uh, dried leaves. They've got a lot more character to them. Um, wow, I did a lot of these. I didn't realize how many I'd cut out. Uh, these were a bit of a nightmare to uh, cut out, by the way. <laughs> I'd actually had these leaves for a long time, and I'd been using them on my photos. Uh, I just I had them stored away, and every time I'd need one, I'd pull it out, cut it out, put it in the photo, and then uh, I'd have to redo the process every time, and I was too lazy to actually cut them out and make them where I didn't have to do it anymore, which was actually doing more work for myself than uh, needed to be. So I finally decided to crack down, cut all these out, and uh, package them all nice and neat, and... Uh, make them available for you guys. Here's the next leaf. I didn't do as many of these. You really don't need that many. I just wanted to have enough to where you could randomize them. And uh, the quality did not, doesn't need to be that great because most leaves are going to be flying through the air. Nobody's going to be paying much attention to the detail. But I, I wanted to have as much detail as possible in case you uh, needed it for whatever reason. Go ahead and go to the next folder. Um, I believe this is the same leaf. <laughs> this is different, <clears throat> some different colors and different uh, characters. Um, I got these all from the same spot, and for whatever reason, I mean, they, some of these look completely different. They may be different leaves, <laughs> so uh, you could just call this the random folder if it is. <clears throat> uh, these, some of them are more fallish colors, some are uh, green, and you can change the color of these uh, in Photoshop. You can change them to whatever you need them to be. And I have some, uh, I don't I have no idea what kind of leaf this is, it's kind of dried. Uh, I got a lot of these uh, in the fall time, which is kind of what I wanted. Which that's usually when I need them, it's when most people need them, is <laughs> in the fall when uh, leaves are going to be falling. So uh, I needed ones with as much character and uh, fall look as possible. Uh, I really like these leaves, I can't remember where I got these from. I kind of like the uh, texture on these, I really like these. And the last one. I went ahead and grabbed these. I did a lot of these too. Because, and I have no idea even if this is from a tree. I think it's from some kind of a bush. And I think I ended up using these more than <laughs> anything else. For some reason, uh, there was a few senior photos I took. And I noticed after I got home, they, she was next to these bushes and they had leaves look just like these. So I was able to use these um, because it was fall and there was a lot of leaves laying on the ground. And I wanted some of these going through the air. So uh, it was very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you can use these in Photoshop. I'm just going to kind of grab a couple of these, that one, and whoops, I'll hold down, I'm on a Mac, hold down Option, and just click and grab a couple of these. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop them in here. And just hit Enter until they're all in there. And I didn't realize when you do this, when you drag them and drop them in there like that for whatever reason, um, Photoshop automatically makes these smart objects <laughs> and I don't need them to be smart. So let's see if I can rasterize these layers. Oh, I didn't know I could do that to all of them at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and collect, uh, select all those and press Option G, group those together, and you can name that if you want, leaves. I think I named that right. <laughs> and with that file selected, you can press Option T, and you can resize these now. I'm going to resize them to about the size of the leaf that she's holding. I'm 
Oops. And I learned something new when I was uh, actually preparing to do this demonstration. I didn't know. Uh, I was, uh, <clears throat> when I needed to move every individual leaf, I'd come into this folder and have to figure out which one it was. It was very daunting. I didn't realize that you could, um, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. I didn't realize you could click option, uh, maybe not option, sorry, control, and it pulls all the, uh, all the layers that you uh, clicked on, they're all right there. So I can grab one of these now, and if you press V, it'll pull up your move tool, and you can move it. So you can go in here and just grab the random ones and start moving them around. <laughs> so that's gonna be a huge time saver for me. So uh, getting a little more than just a demonstration here if you didn't know, or maybe I'm the only one that didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and disperse these a little bit. And uh, I'm going to move these around. I don't want them all to be facing the same direction. I didn't realize when I cut these all out, they, uh, I had them all kind of pointing in the same direction. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, no, that leaf's actually there. I can't select that one. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead um, and move some of these around. And I'm going to resize them, too. I want these. Let me put some down here, maybe. Some of these are going to be closer to the camera because if these leaves are all falling, they're all not going to be on the focus plane there. So some are going to be close, some are going to be far. So let's, like, I'm going to make this one smaller. Put this one way off in the background over there, and it's going to be out of focus. And this one, I think uh, I'll leave in the focus plane. I kind of like that one right there. And this one, I think I'll have a little bit towards the camera. So make this one a little bit bigger too. Because the odds of these all being in the focus plane are pretty, pretty slim. This is, uh, I shot this photo with my 85 millimeter at 1.4 lens, probably at like 1.8 or 2, or it might be wide open. I don't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate some of these, and this one's gonna be closer to the camera. Put that over here, and this one I'll make. A little farther away, maybe. Actually, I'm gonna make this one farther away because this one over here is already already like that. And I'm gonna probably make this a little farther away too. Okay, now to edit these. Um, actually, <clears throat> I should have done this. <laughs> Should have done this probably before I started, but um, the these leaves are a little bit darker than the one she's holding, so I'm going to create a curves layer, and I'm going to click this because I only want it to affect the. Whoops, this needs to be outside of the uh, folder there. I'm going to click this because I only want it to affect this folder, and I'm going to lighten these up just a little bit, right about there. I'm just trying to match kind of the same color as the leaf that she's holding. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this leaf. I select it, and I'm gonna go over here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And that's pretty close to the camera, so I'm gonna really blur it out, not that much. Just enough where you can still tell it's a leaf, but it's blurred out enough. There we go. And this one, I'm gonna go back to Gaussian Blur, it's just barely going to be blurred because it's on the other side of the, it's more of the background um, focus plane or out of focus. So, and this one, these two are right in the focus plane. I want, this one's a little bit close to the camera, so I'm going to give it a slight blur, kind of like the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the, uh, if you click over here, this is the last thing you did. You can just click that and it speeds up the process a little bit. Grab this one. And blur it out quite a bit because it's a little ways back there. And this one, even though it's right in the focus plane, I'm going to give it a slight blur because it's crisp and clear and it kind of sticks out. Notice hers, she's actually not, I probably didn't nail the focus just right. I, I use all manual focus lenses, so I'm probably just a little bit off. So this leaf is just a little bit blurred, so I'm going to try to match that. Is 
That's probably perfect right there. Okay, I'm trying to quickly go through this. That's the thing with placing these leaves is uh, it's a little time consuming, but if you put the time into it, it'll, uh, it'll be worth it in the end. This one's kind of far back there, so I'll give it a bit of a blur. And this one's closer to the camera. Whoops. I don't know why I did that. It's not as close as this one. Actually, it almost is. Maybe right there. 12. Perfect. And this will be kind of like uh, this one over here. I'll just give it like a... What did I give that one? I don't remember. <laughs> it's pretty low. It was a 1.5. Good enough, I like it. All right. So already you can tell they all look look like they're in there. Um, one thing to think about, these if these leaves are actually falling, now, now this depends on how fast your shutter speed was. So it really doesn't matter because I, I don't remember. I could look at the uh, information from this photo. Um, but I don't remember what I shot this at. But if I shot it at a, at a fast frame rate, it could have uh, captured these leaves without any bit of motion blur at all. But if I shot it at a slower rate, which I know I did actually, come to think of it, because this is late evening, it was getting pretty dark. So I probably shot this at 160 frames per second if I was shooting my 85 uh, lens. So these, there's gonna be a slight motion blur with these. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna combine these because I can't, uh, I can't apply a motion blur to a folder and I don't want to go to each individual leaf and I don't think I can I don't think I can select them all and do that. I don't think it'll let you do that. No, I should have known better than that. <laughs> so what I'll do is since I have everything placed where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my folder and this curves layer since it's affecting this. And I'm gonna press option E to combine those two. And now it's its own layer. And I can move it around like that. Now I can uh, now I can add effects to that layer. And I'm going to go ahead and go in here, go to motion blur, and give it a slight blur. Actually, that's pretty good where it's at. <laughs> that might be too much. You can see the effect. If you turn that on and off, look at this leaf up here. So I think that might be a little too much. I'm going to turn this down to maybe 15. Very subtle, but I know it would be there. Actually, at 1 60th of a second, those these leaves would probably be, you probably wouldn't be able to see them. They'd be blurred out so much. But, uh, well, maybe not. It'd, be, it'd probably be something a little bit more like this, kind of like that, which that's pretty cool right there, actually. I actually really like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Excuse my dog. Now, having done that, I kind of like it out of... <laughs> more more blur so I'm gonna leave that at 20 and with this photo there's a slight vignette to it so I'm gonna go ahead and add a curves layer um, let make it to where it only affects the cur the uh, that layer and I'm gonna pull this down a little bit now oh, the dog is coming right to uh, the studio I'm gonna pull this up a bit. I'm gonna take my pen and grab a black and my brush so I can paint. I'm gonna paint this off of the center. Wow, these just come right up to me here. <laughs> Sorry about that, that's probably blasting out your speakers. All right, paint that out right there. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. I think that can concludes this uh, demonstration. Uh, I hope you guys get a lot of use out of this. I, uh, I've made a lot of use of these leaves. It's been a lot of fun. And I've actually had these things since, I don't even think it was last year. I think it was the year before last. <laughs> I took these and uh, just, I've been hoarding them for myself. <laughs> but uh, I've been meaning to cut them out and make them available to you guys. I just never got around to it. But it's uh, in the middle of winter time right now. 
So I've got some time. It's freezing cold in here right now. By the way, I had to turn my heater off to do this recording because uh, uh, it's rather loud. And I don't want to distract you with that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you uh, in the next video. Bye.